Welcome to Grace Today, a daily vlog designed to encourage you and equip you with the Word of God. Let's begin. All right, friends, welcome back to Grace Today. Sorry for a couple days off there, but between the power outage and not being able to record on Sunday and just having friends in town, we're a little bit behind, but we're going to pick back up where we left off today with Proverbs 26, verses 1 through 11. Follow along with me in your Bible as I read Proverbs 26, 1 through 11. Like snow in summer and like rain in harvest, so honor is not fitting for a fool. Like a sparrow in its flitting, like a swallow in its flying, so a curse without cause does not alight. A whip is for a horse, a bridle for the donkey, and a rod for the back of fools. Do not answer a fool according to his folly, or you will also be like him. Answer a fool as his folly deserves, that, you, that he not be wise in his own eyes. He cuts off his own feet and drinks violence, who sends a message by the hand of a fool. Like the legs which are useless to the lame, so is a proverb in the mouth of a fool. Like one who binds a stone in a sling, so is he who gives honor to a fool. Like a thorn which falls into the hand of a drunkard, so is a proverb in the mouth of fools. Like an archer who wounds everyone, so is he who hires a fool and who hires those who pass by. Like a dog that returns to its vomit is a fool who repeats his folly. In this passage, we see several similitudes, several things that show us the wisdom of how to deal with fools or how to deal with foolish people. And I just want to highlight some of these for you. The first is that we don't honor them. Now, this may seem simple, but the truth is there are many fools in this world who have prestige, who have success, who have wealth, who seem to have these things, and therefore they receive honor from everyone. Let us not be like those people. A fool, someone who is not walking in biblical wisdom, really a fool in Proverbs is almost synonymous with an unbeliever, should not receive our honor. Rather, we should know them. And the second thing that it shows us is that we should understand their end, which is punishment. That's what it makes the point here of a rod is meant for the back of fools. Fools are destined for punishment, even though they might not seem to be getting it at the moment. And we need to remember their end. We need to remember what is destined for them and not follow after them. The next thing we tell, we're told is to answer a fool righteously. Now, there's two verses in this passage that may seem to contradict one another because it says, do not answer a fool. And then it says, answer a fool. But the key thing is how those are modified. We don't want to answer a fool according to his folly or in the same way of his folly. We don't want to take on the responses of a fool. If someone's acting and speaking foolishly to them, we don't want to respond foolishly to them to make it make things even. But rather, we want to answer them according to their folly deserves. We want to show them and answer them with biblical wisdom and righteousness so that they might see the errors of their ways. Next thing is we don't want to entrust ourselves to fools. He makes this point twice in here by saying don't entrust them with messages and don't hire them to do things that you need done. We don't entrust ourselves to fools. Next thing, don't trust their wisdom. Several times in here he says it's bad bad things and unnatural things like a legs that are useless to the lame or like a thorn which falls in the hand of a drunkard. So is the proverb in the mouth of a fool. Just because somebody seems to have wisdom, seems to say catchy things, we don't want to trust their wisdom or so-called wisdom if they're foolish. That stuff leads to danger. It's useless to us. And then the last thing is don't repeat their errors. He uses a very graphic illustration here, like a dog returning to its vomit. Let us not be those who repeat the errors of fools because we think they're wise or they're having success or they're getting something of value we want, but rather let us consider their end, let us act righteously toward them and in how we handle them. Let consider these things as you go about your day today and as you consider those who you esteem. Are you esteeming? Are you honoring foolish people? If so, then I pray that you'll learn from Proverbs wisdom today. I love you, Grace Community. I'm praying for you. Have a great day. Thanks for tuning in to the Grace Today vlog. For more information on Grace Community Baptist Church in Elgin, Texas, or how you can support this ministry, check out the links in the description below. See you tomorrow.